from the National Physicians Alliance. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. My name, my name is Dr. Manisha Sharma. I am a member of the National Physicians Alliance. I stand before you today to tell you my patient story. This story isn't about one of my patients. This story is about me. When I was in my early 20s, I was attending a fine arts school to pursue my dream of becoming a dancer and a musician. And if I may add, I had a little talent. <laughs> that dream came to a halt. I was hit by a car while I was walking in a crosswalk. For the next seven years, I underwent four major hip surgeries and extensive physical therapy. I, like many other patients I met along the way, had to learn a few hard lessons. Not only did I have to focus on healing, but in addition to that, I had the stress of dealing with my private health insurance company. Did you know if a third party is involved in your medical issue, like the woman driving the car that hit me, then your health insurance company has a right not to pay your medical bills? <laughs> and this is even while you're paying an insurance premium. So there I was, a previously healthy 20-something year old, being threatened by my health insurance company that they may not pay my medical bills, while I'm paying my insurance premium and continuing to need medical care to walk normally. And now, for the rest of my life, I have a pre-existing condition through no fault of my own. But I also have a lot to thank the private insurance industry for. For example, I got to meet many hardworking Americans like yourself, who's had similar struggles with paying their bills and getting the medical care that they needed. Yes. Their brave experiences, combined with my own, inspired me to become a patient rights advocate. And since a patient's best advocate is his or her doctor, I decided to pursue a career in medicine. All right. All right. Very good. <laughs> I am proud to say I recently graduated from medical school. But I am also one of those people who are in between jobs. For me, that's in between graduation and residency. And I do not have health care coverage. This is just one of the many gaps in the existing system where if you're not on someone else's plan, like a parent or a partner, then you have a choice to purchase a private health insurance plan. And it is only a choice if you can afford it. Right. That's yeah. I cannot afford health insurance. That's true. Wow. I mean, I love New York, but you gotta make ends meet. <laughs> on top of that, I have a pre-existing condition which makes getting affordable coverage virtually impossible. So here I am, a hard-working American who overcame a personal challenge, became a doctor, and now has fallen into a gap in our broken healthcare system. I am part of that statistic of almost 15 million people, 5-0, who are working or searching for work who do not have health insurance. I am here to tell you today, as a doctor and as a patient, that a public health insurance option must yeah. be don't think it is essential and imperative, consider some of these questions. What would you do if you lost your job tomorrow? How would you provide affordable health care coverage for your family, for yourself? Every day, like you, I think about this. Every day I walk down the street and I think to myself, what would I do if I got hit by another car? How would I be able to pay for an emergency room visit, let alone just trying to pay for my groceries and my rent? Please, make no mistake about it. I am one of the lucky uninsured, as I am fortunate to be part of a community of physicians that would certainly help me if I was to get sick tomorrow. As I mentioned before, a patient's best advocate for healthcare is a patient's doctor. Today, I am not only advocating for myself, I am advocating for my patients. The public health insurance option is just that, an option. 
We need a system that puts patients before profits Absolutely. and does not make money off of your illness. That's right. The option of a public health insurance will keep the private companies in check. Well, it will keep them honest. There you go. What is wrong with having a system where if you love your insurance, you can keep it? Or you can have a choice of having an affordable public insurance option that will always be there for you, regardless if you're in between jobs or have a pre-existing condition like myself. No questions asked. <laughs> not a privilege. Yes. I am very thankful to be here talking to you today. I have been blessed with a lot of help along the way. Well, the public health insurance option needs our help. We cannot afford to lose this battle. We are the ones who can make this happen. So please, get involved. Talk to your friends and family. Call your members of Congress. Call your senator. Join us, but whatever you do, do something. Now is the time. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs>